Gary's Mod Horror Maps. They're a pretty popular brand of maps that often get a lot of views on YouTube through large content creators doing videos on them. For over a decade, these horror maps entertained and scratched an itch within horror audiences and gave them new experiences through the Steam Workshop for absolutely free. Today on this video, I went through a lot of horror maps, both iconic and sometimes practical, and tried to see if these maps succeeded in what they set out to do, with sometimes these maps focusing in on a sandbox experience with some horror-like elements, or them focusing in on a mini campaign that stands as its own unique original idea. So no more diddling around, let's just hop into this handful of horror maps I picked out and see what they have to offer. GM711 may sound like a weird start to this list, but let me elaborate a little more as to why it's in a horror list. GM711 is a recreation of a 7-Eleven located in this weird flat grass with a couple of buildings around it and an odd amount of Domo advertising on it. This decade old map was featured in a lot of videos back in the day, with it prominently and most notably appearing in videos by Vanos Gaming and Venturian Tale. Apologies for the PTSD caused by the two names by the way, I know your recommended feed suffered a lot back in the day. For the most part this map seems pretty normal for a sandbox map and spawns you into this weird little room here. Outside of it is this weird little pool area along with a soccer field and the 7-Eleven location nearby. Immediately looking around you may realize this map is pretty empty for the most part which makes it a really great sandbox map which proves why it's a very popular map overall. There's also rails that go throughout the entire track that lead to this weird little train station area in the back. It's kind of a just weird area and most people don't really go to it very much. There honestly isn't very much of no out here and so let's head inside the 7-Eleven where the real horror lies. Upon entering the 7-Eleven, you may be super confused as to why I have this on a horror map list. You're like, okay, this is like the meat and potatoes of the fucking map. Where's the horror? Where's the scary? Well, walking past the amount of nostalgia you're probably getting from looking at that fucking counter and seeing the amount of interactions you've been through over the years, or like the videos you've seen where people just goof around the 7-Eleven, if you hop into this elevator, you can go down into the dark room. Upon entering the dark room, you're immediately greeted with a very dark and dingy looking room that looks something straight out of like some weird horror map. This is elevated by the weird blood splatters on the floor and the warning signs by the cement pillars which kind of give off this uneasy oh my god I'm in a parking lot kind of feel and it's a very weird vibe. It also doesn't help we have these weird blinking red eyes in the background that kind of just stalk you and you're like what the fuck are they? And then you realize there's just these weird blinking red lights and you're like oh well that just ruined everything. There's also some machinery in this weird little yellow room in the background. Overall, I'd probably put this map on the practical scale of horror maps. It's a very practical map and you could revisit a lot. And if you just want to stick to the surface, that's absolutely fine. It's just very practical, really good map. Solid five out of five. Hell's Resort is borderline parody. This fucking map has you going through various different rooms kind of just trying to solve puzzles, but the scare factor is just random like stock screams in the background and literal jump scares. It, it's literally some of the most low effort Gmod horror you can find on the workshop and I legitimately don't know how I got so many subscriptions to it. It's so awful. There's nothing really scary or really fun about any of this. It's just oh if you're scared of a JPEG yelling at you then I guess this map is for you. I don't know. Fuck this map. This goes in like the shit category. This would be like 1 out of 10. Borderline parody. Like, we've kind of gone back to that. Did I just get jump scared by boxes? <laughs> okay, so the standards are pretty low already. <laughs> GM Shambles is an old roleplay map with a focus on these empty suburbs during the nighttime. It's a rather off-putting map with the soundscapes kind of forming this weird creepy vibe to it. The best comparison I can make is if you're walking home during the nighttime at like 2am and you just hear the distant roars of cars driving nearby. Like, it, it's that kind of vibe. It excellently fills its job as a weird roleplay map alongside a sandbox map with houses marked as safe or having the giant words help on them. This lack of anything really going on within the map in terms of like stuff actually like jump scaring you and stuff is actually really awesome as a sandbox and roleplay map and it offers an experience where players can be creative while having the suspenseful atmosphere. It's a really awesome map and I would rate this one about a 5 out of 5. Banger map and a classic. Breakin' is a weird ass map. 
You go around your house at the middle of the night doing these various chores that are left by presumably your parents left on the refrigerator door. Stuff starts to ramp up once you finish all your chores when the dude outside just randomly breaks into your house and it's like one of the most strange I guess horror moments in a game I've really seen with it really not being very creepy and being borderline parody like the way the dude moves around is just goofy as shit like watch this. What the fuck? A black man? He broke into my house! <laughs> that was the horror map? Okay. Break-in visually is a little bit crude, with it mostly focusing in on these weird low-poly kind of textures. It, it's just really ugly as a map, and it looks something straight out of Roblox. It's way too over-reliant on the jump-scare horror factor of it, and just overall, I don't find it to be that particularly great of a map. I'd rate it about, uh, like, two to three out of five. GM Death House is a traditional horror map with you traversing through this labyrinth attempting to find your way out. Throughout this entire map you agree with these mixed messages with you seemingly being chased by this weird corpse 01 model thing that's supposed to be the monster of this map. I don't really know. <laughs> From time to time you'll get calls throughout the map recorded in this rather amateur way that attempt to build this narrative around the dude on the phone not knowing if he's like a friend or foe. It's an interesting concept but it kind of gets undercut by the rest of the map when it's just a series of amateurly put together halls with JPEGs of stock horror images popping at you from time to time with like a scream effect or two. It's really annoying and the map is just not very good. Oh. Nice. Overall, I'd rank this map about like a 1 out of 5. It's legitimately like a really awful experience to go through and it gives you like all your weapons so you, you kind of just like fizz gun through a lot of shit. I don't really know what the fuck you're supposed to do for most of it. You kind of just fizz gun some walls together and it's a mess. The map kind of just breaks itself. Easily one of the worst maps here. Silent Town is a Silent Hill and Ravenholm inspired horror map with you going around this town and attempting to solve these puzzles using mostly crowbars. <laughs> Essentially this map is a lot like the others, just a jump scare fest of JPEGs with it attempting to be this atmospheric horror puzzle type of horror map but it miserably failing for the most part. It's actually kind of funny with some of the voice acting too. Like when I heard the first voice line I just immediately started laughing. It, it's it's just absolutely ridiculous. What an absolute disgrace to Silent Hill as a series. Yo, what is this place? <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? And for a final map, I would rank this one a uh, 1 out of 5. This one was absolutely dog shit. But it was hilarious at points, though not the intention of the map. Overall, Gary's Mod horror maps, despite having a really good base to build off of, I mean like Half-Life as a series, visually and atmosphere-wise, is really built for like horror stuff like this. It just sucks that I feel like a lot of horror maps haven't really taken advantage of this aspect of Half-Life and Gary's Mod as a tool, and really ran with it to make a good horror experience. There has been good source horror games in the past, like this Cry of Fear, and obviously like Half-Life Alex has its own horror aspects, but I just wish that the community as a whole was able to build something really awesome awesome and solid as a horror map. If you guys have any suggestions for like good horror maps, send them my way. I'd love to do like a sequel to this video, going through like some of the good horror maps and maybe finding some of those gems under the rubble of all this garbage I found on the most popular section of the workshop. But for now, I think that's all I have really to cover on this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down below your feelings on modern Gary's Mod horror maps. Do you think horror in the Gary's Mod community is at an all-time low? 
or do you see there being a possible future in horror maps going to the next level and possibly pushing the medium forward? If you like content like this, please support my other stuff. It's really awesome to see people go to those older videos and see stuff that they may have missed. Thanks for hopping on by though, this has been Sleep, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye!